Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carrie. I'm wearing this really cute coat from Light in the Box. We're doing a Light in the Box haul today. You guys know I love Light in the Box. I've worked with them so many times and every single time I'm always like amazed and confused in a good way about what I'm received because the clothing is always very unique and different and I love that for my style because I love to just mix it up. Right now I'm wearing a Honey Burdette lingerie set under this coat because one, it's a pretty revealing set, but it's so beautiful. It's actually like really, really pretty. Um, I just love Honey Burdette and I love lingerie. I just don't really show it on anywhere. Anyway, that being said, it's, it is really pretty and Honey Burdette has like really good stuff, like quality stuff. So that's why I really love Honey Burdette. I really, they don't sponsor me or anything, kind of what they did, but they don't. So instead I'm just wearing it under this trench coat that, you know, it's from Light in the Box, but this is really nice. I like it. I love like the plaid pattern inside, super vibey, fun, I don't know, it's nice. And yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird that I'm wearing this on the patio, but what can I do? <laughs> mm. Alright, let's see what else we got from Light in the Box. Maybe I can show you a little bit, like, I like the gold chain so much on this here, let's see. So cute. It's a really nice set. This was actually probably one of the most expensive Honey Burdette slash lingerie sets I own. I honestly I'm trying to think. I mean that chastity lock thing. I don't even know where that is. Or in slash, I will never worn it. But yeah. So, but it's beautiful, and I like the green color and the gold. It's kind of reminds me a little bit of like St. Patrick's Day, but in a classier Honey Burdette like way. And also, I just like wearing green because my eyes. Alright, so anyway, this jacket is dope. I'm going to change into the next look, and I'll be right back. Alright, so next up I have this, like, blue suit thing. It's really cute. The material is really soft and nice. It's just a little big on me, but otherwise, it's really, like, I, I really like this color. It's one of my favorite colors. It's, like, the periwinkle blue vibes. Um, but, yeah, honestly, it's just a little bit, like, loose and long on me, but, like, for any, like, if it fit you well, this would be really nice to have for, like, whatever you want to do. I don't know what they wear this to, but wherever you want to go with it. No, I'm just kidding. It's really cute, though. It just doesn't fit me properly, but the material feels really nice, and the color is 10 out of 10, so I'll show you more of it before I change, but, like, I don't know. Is it going to break this thing? I've had this for a little bit now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm going to change the next outfit. I really, this is, like, going my it's cute though, like honestly, like if you like if it fit me well, that'd be way dope. All right, be right back. All right, you guys, I'm probably like 95% sure I'm gonna finish this um, another day because I'm really just kind of just want to take a break from this channel, even though it is pretty fun. But I just want to show you this tank top. I thought it looks cute with these white shorts because it's like the ombre vibes to white, so just you know, totally. Met seems like a match. I don't even know. I'm being weird describing it. I just think it looks cute together. Um, you can button it up if you want to. It's pretty comfy too and soft. So they have a lot of different styles like I was saying. So I'm going to show you the rest and you'll see it in this video. But I'll be filming it probably tomorrow or the next day. Because sometimes you just get through a couple outfits in a channel and you're like, you know what? I'm going to wait and finish it tomorrow because... I always want my vibes to be right because I know that's like super important for my videos and I feel like when I'm not in the right mindset or I'm staying on the mood to like do something, it just doesn't come out good and it's like, what's the point? Um, yeah, so, but I really do like the shirt, it's actually really cute, so now I'm kind of in a good mood right now. Alright, I know I said I was done with this try on haul, but honestly, this jacket is super cozy. I just threw it on over this outfit that I'm going to pick up my daughter from school and it's just really warm so I wanted to show you guys. Alright, I'm about to go but I just wanted to show you it one more time. The vibe. Really cute. Alright, anyway, time to go but just wanted to show you this look. Alright, so I figured while I'm getting ready I will show you the rest of my um, light in the box stuff that I started wearing yesterday and showing you. Um, I really actually like this gold top. I like that it's, like, shimmery and cute, but not, like, like, you could wear this out and it's not too revealing, so that's nice. The pants, um, are a little harder with this angle. Yes, I know my bathroom's a mess, 
luckily my cleaning people will be here soon. Hopefully they can help me with this in some type of way. But I do like this a lot. I'm going to show you the full length in my new mirror. All right, so this is my new mirror. I have to get a new one because it's supposed to be dimmable and it's not. But at the same time, I just wanted to show you the outfit in full. I hate high-waisted, but otherwise these are cute. So I probably wear them like this because I wear everything weird. But kind of a vibe, right? Love it. Okay, so next look. Honestly, I feel like these are literally remind me of the scrubs i used to wear have to wear when i worked at that um dental office but also they might be cuter on me if they like were a little tighter well i know they're supposed to be baggy but still but this top is really cute really soft and comfy i mean these are i'm not saying i don't like them i'm just saying like if they had a better fit on me that would be dope but still the top is really soft i like the lace detail a vibe all right so next up i have this interesting top it came with this hood i honestly don't know where it connects to or if it's supposed to so there is that situation i don't oh god i don't know maybe there's like a hole in it somewhere Honestly, I can't find it, but like I, oh wait, no, honestly, I don't know. Maybe you're just supposed to like tie it, bitch. I don't know, but the material is super soft. I love like how the light in the box always has like a bunch of unique stuff. Um, I just don't know exactly what to do. But yeah, it's really soft and warm and cozy. I just uh, don't know how to attach this hood, so I guess we're not gonna next time. All right, so I'm actually going to start doing my makeup, but um, I'm almost kind of done actually. But I just wanted to show you this top. I actually kind of like it, the material. It's like a little slightly loose on me, but I tied it up with like a hair tie when I like, I mean, it's still loose, but it, it's really nice material, it's cute. I love this color um, for stuff like that, like for clothes, stuff like that, for clothes. So I'm gonna brush my hair out. But yeah, so the material of this is really nice. It's just not the best fit on me, but sometimes that can be hard for me to find like products that really fit me well i don't know we have a few more jackets and stuff i figured while i do my makeup and get, switch out the outfits i would answer some deep questions well people seem to like that um what's something you still call your mom to ask about um honestly like a lot of stuff well i don't know it depends not fashion well, that's when I call my mother-in-law. Um, just kidding, sorry mom. No, probably like to ask her like, hey mom, have you seen my birth certificate or like my social security card or hey, can you bring my car or if something's going on with my car, can you bring it in? She's really nice, she, goes, she does help me with a lot of stuff. Um, so. What is something you are naturally good at? Social media and growing on social media, but also naturally good at. I'm really on a writing, I guess you would say. Um, and I don't know, comment below. Let me know what you think. What am I natural? Uh, fashion, but not like real. I don't know. I feel like I think I'm good at fashion, but then I look back on some of my other YouTube fashion videos back in the day, and I'm like no carry no but you know what a lot of the times i try to just get creative with it which is the fun part so you know so this is like another one of the jackets that is from white in the box um you know i love that jacket like this is actually kind of cute i don't know i think i like it might be a little much but i'm gonna keep it for sure i don't know it's warm 
makes a statement, you know, I like my statement pieces. Um, kind of a vibe. I like that I can just like, yeah, do this and like have it be all like secretive. I feel like I can wear this as a dress very easily. So, all right, let's answer one more question. What was the last creative thing you did? Um, well, I did buy a scrapbook. I haven't really added anything to it, but the intention is there, you know? So, that's good. And we have one more thing. All right, so this jacket I'm actually really, really excited about because it kind of reminds me of like my black one that I've been wearing a lot. So it has like the fur on the inside, so it's extra warm, but still really cool. I like that it's red because I don't really own, I don't know, I like the burgundy red vibes to it. So, definitely a keeper. I really, and like, honestly, this is really warm. I love that it has a hood because my, my other one, my black one doesn't. So this is actually really nice. And the hood is actually, has fur in it too. So that's dope. Um, I really like this, yeah. So I'm gonna put on my foundation while I answer one more question. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most attractive, what would you rate yourself? Um, well, one thing I learned, literally the only thing I actually learned from going on Fresh and Fit podcast. Yes, I still love to talk shit about them because fuck them, just kidding. It was an experience, you know. But, um, is that, like, if you rate yourself a 10, like, I don't know. So for me, I would say I'm a 7, but I have the potential to be an 8 when I really, really try. Um, I'm not sure if that actually makes sense, but that's what I would say. What t tattoos do you have or would you want to get? I have five tattoos now. I actually just got one. And then at the same time, you can see my other tattoo. It says on our love. It's really faded, but it, um, I got, that was the first tattoo I ever got. I also have one, a sunflower right here, tattoo on my neck and this random balloon on my arm. All right, so neck tattoo which i always kind of forget about i don't know if you can even see it but hopefully then i have my sunflower one this balloon kind of sucks and then like i said oh, i'm just gonna break you can see those two tattoos so five and now i'm done with tattoos all right Okay, so this is the last item actually from my light in the box try and haul. I think it's a dress actually. It's so comfy and warm. Like I have shorts on still, but see this? This is so warm. I love it. I'm honestly obviously going to be wearing it as a dress, but I'm just saying it's a vibe. What is the best compliment you've ever received? Like, the best compliment I've ever, ever received is, like, when people compliment my personality. I think that's just so genuine and sweet. Um, I mean, I love, I ever, I mean, that I don't hate being called, like, pretty or whatever, but honestly, when people are like, you have such a genuine soul or, like, you're such a, you seem like such a sweet, real person, that means a lot to me. Because I, I am and I feel like a lot of people don't see that from social media always so well i try to be anyway yeah i really like this uh thing that i'm wearing it's very uh cozy all right what is the best pickup line you know well the best pickup line i've used on was on my husband now and i basically just said hey I, can I, I you're hot can i come to new york and visit you he was like maybe wait a week we're married two months later, so pretty much worked out well for me. Anyway, honestly, this is super cozy and comfy, so I like it a lot. 
who would you say is really hashtag relationship goals um i don't know i think that would like really really like be different for everyone hey nate Jerry. what's up why are you on whatsapp are you all right what's up? yeah um, okay i don't know you sounded like you might not be all right you sounded your voice stuff up and down Oh no, I'm good. I'm just doing my makeup and I'm trying to be fast because I have my cleaners here helping me and I need to get out of my bathroom. Okay, I'll be quick because I think I need your help. What's up? Um, okay, so I'm in the Ukraine right now. Holy shit. Dude, my friend is insane. I don't know what he's doing in the Ukraine, but it seems a little weird. What is the weirdest date you've ever been on? Uh, I guess like the most unique date was when I was in... Miami and I went out to dinner with somebody and we went to this restaurant where you had to take off your heels which is actually dope I that wasn't that weird I don't know I've probably been on weird d dates but I don't know I haven't been on a lot of dates recently obviously do you feel like you work too hard you work not enough or have a good balance um I feel like I do not have a good balance. I either work way too hard or I don't work enough. So that's great. I have a bit like my personality is very like a hundred percent in or like I really don't give a fuck at all, you know, which is not good. Always. On a first date, who should pay the bill? Should it be split? Personally, I feel like it should be split. But that's just me. I'm almost done. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a very light straightening and then straighten it more later because whatever. Okay. Is it harder to break up with somebody or be broken up with? 100% in my opinion, harder to break up with somebody. That's why in the past I've always just done wild shit in order to get them to break up with me. So I don't have to do it, but also not healthy so yeah, she's adorable. She's adorable. we're working on it all right i'm turning my straighten off again thank you so much light in the box everything will be linked below and thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time